Well, it decided to be winter again, and I'm being yelled at by a cat. Why are you shouting? Yeah, is it because it's Monday and it's like 8.30? It's still cold outside. I love these decisions. The dog's been barking all morning, so I think she thinks she needs to come see what's going on. A concrete truck got stuck in our yard. Not our concrete truck, obviously. We don't need any more concrete. I'm sure these guys are confused. Mom is late, dad has left to go to work. The dog has been barking for hours. So like at seven o'clock this morning, quite figure out. The truck, I guess, maybe decided to turn around. They had towed out. It was very stuck. And there are giant ruts in our yard now. The first day of spring break. Good morning, girlies. Good morning, are you ready? Are you ready? Say, oh no. Say, mama goat's ready for breakfast. <laughs> We're two weeks old, we're wild. Good morning, girls. Poppy, are we gonna have babies this week? Please? So mom can have them while she's not at work? Just like maybe, I don't know. Oh, there's a string in here. Okay, let's have breakfast. Oh. Come on, Nugget. Good girl. Come on, buddy. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good girl. Oh. Yesterday morning, uh, they apparently opened the gate. The bunny ended up just walking off down the side of the yard. I was like, uh, what are you doing? By the time I came back over here, she had come back in, but. So today, the hope is to get the pigs and the boys out for the spring. I have an idea that we're gonna try, and we're gonna see how it works. Hello, Mr. Sirs. How are ya? Hey, good morning, Mom. They have some grass, but not a ton. They have probably more grass in this pasture. That's because they're not really eating it. Uh, I put out a third net yesterday, so the girls have a whole new section of grass. We're still being cautious and not putting all five nets out because of it being rainy season for us and the flooding. So it was April last year when it flooded and uh, washed away all our nets and our fence. So our neighbors still have standing water. So we're just being extra cautious, but they did need a little bit more space so that I could get this crew out on grass. Yes, you guys. I'll keep them locked in until I get the new stuff set up. We're gonna try one thing and then, um, and I think it'll work. I'm probably not gonna get the new charger hooked up today or the old charger that I have because I have to put a ground rod in and so Jeremy will have to help me do that. But we're gonna try it. We will eventually hook the charger to it, but I've got to work out the situation first. So I'm gonna get this net set up and I got it hung up somehow. 
Uh, but I wanted to get that barrier set up before they went out for the day so that they don't end up over there and then I have to deal with that. Good morning, children. Oh, I'm sorry, Padme, I just bonked her in the head. Hello, we're gonna have a baby soon. yesterday because it is stinky. Y'all got some stinky farts. You do. So she's due the end of this week, like Thursday. Mm-hmm. Are you due Thursday? See you, yeah, Mama. She's very big. Mm-hmm. So I've been kind of checking her tail and watching her udder. Uh, these guys are wild. Wild. Are you wild? There we are, Mom! They were so wild! Good morning! Good morning, little duck! <laughs> Good morning, Cindy! Definitely the friendlier one, um, but very sweet, both of them. We'll come to my voice, which I think is really cute for damn raised babies. Yeah, so we'll play with you in a minute. We will. Hello! Hello, sweet girl. Good morning, Paprika. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. Yes, good morning. Are you eating Aunt Bunny's beard? Good morning. The first babies of the year are always so much more friendly because they're usually, like, there's no other babies to play with, so they get all the attention. There's my glove. Uh, Parker, it's not the goal, bud. Not, not the goal. So what we're gonna try is basically just to run this around to keep the pigs from lifting this fence up because that's what they were doing. So let's get started. That's so hard to see. So I have the hard fence up here and then a gap between the net and the hard fence. I do need to tie the hard fence down somehow at the bottom over here. I need another carabiner clip. It's tied twice here. The pigs can go under this really easily. Don't mistake it. They are trained that that one is hot. So we'll see. Just creates an extra barrier for us. We'll see how it goes today since I'm home. Now that I have it up, I don't think it's gonna work unless it's hot. A lot of times for pigs, they're smart enough to get themselves in trouble. You are. You're, you're terribly smart enough to get yourself into some trouble. Uh-huh. So here we go. We just test it out to start with. Because he's really excited. He's gonna come to this and go. Oh. There's a new fence. Don't bite Toonie, don't bite Toonie. There's no reason to bite her. Toonie is usually really good with a visual block. No, sir. No, sir. You don't need to be out in the yard. No. No. It is.
People just want to see baby goats and we're having to worry about pigs. We are. Had to use a mallet because it's real rocky right here to put those in the ground. We are going to put the charger on this fence. That will absolutely keep them off of it. But it's a different kind of charger. And so I have to have like a ground rod and wire and a lot of different things to set up. So I'm going to need Jeremy to help me with that because I'm not like able by myself to probably put it in the ground. I love that like they have all of this. Not good enough. It's not, is it, buddy? So like that's really all I wanted was just to create an additional barrier for them. We will electrify it here probably pretty quickly. And the truth is I could roll out another layer and have it double, but really what I want to be able to do is take it up and down at night. So to be able to pull that corner post up so that Duke can go on both sides. Um, so that when people are taking care of the farm, and the great thing is, is once it's electrified, we won't need the hard barrier. So I won't need this anymore once this is hot. So once it's hot, nobody will go through. Uh, we'll give them a couple of hours, see how it goes. And if it keeps them in, then we'll let the boys out. The boys are not going to go through this. They just don't, but the pigs will. The pigs learn to lift this up. And my problem is because I want it to be temporary, it doesn't tie at the bottom. So they're able to flip it up pretty easily. Hi! You guys ready to come out for the day? Yes! Mom's gonna go get her glove. Good morning! Can we come in? Good job. How's everybody? There we go, Link. It's so hard. Oh my gosh, so hard. These guys. Like, all this pasture, we want to be right here. Pepper. I love how we're just like old man in it over the jump gate. Mom just needs to take it down, doesn't she? See, you do, Mom. Just need to take it down. Are you bringing the babies out today? They got all the way out yesterday. Mom's gonna go get her love. Are you guys gonna come with me? Had to have some grass come in for this to really work. And it's definitely growing. These last couple of days of hard freezing, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's frost on the ground are gonna stunt the grass growth a little bit. But it's gonna be 60 today. You guys come in? Nani, bring the babies. Somebody's burning stuff today. I feel like that's pretty much constant around here. People are still cleaning up from the flood from last year. Okay. Got everybody. You coming? So it's just gonna show you guys. The net that I just used was one of the nets that we recovered. It was actually the one that our neighbor recovered for us. So we still have our five nets for here, but with those nets now I can build a better barrier for both the pigs and the boys to keep them off my fence. All right, so this is where the old nut was. So you can kind of see this like, this line. And so they added all of this space, which is great. Obviously two more nets gets the whole place. I am gonna mow this week if I can get the mower started but there's lots of grass out here. It's not gonna last them very long if it doesn't continue to grow, but it's a good start. And they've been really pumped. This poppy, so we've got a little udder going on. She has a really big udder because she's part Nubian. She's a fourth Nubian. So her udder looks like a Nige's udder would if she was about ready to give birth, but it's really not quite big for her. Nani's bringing the babies. I promise we're gonna see them. But so we got friends coming to see us today. This is great. It's early to get them out here and eating. Get some grass. So that's good for all our tummies. It's nice to be back in rotational season where we can probably what we'll do next is let them eat this down and then we'll go long ways. 
So we'll bring the net in about halfway and run them out long ways. Kind of cut that side off, just rotate them around, not give them the whole thing at once until uh, rainy season is over. So spring break. Let's hope for a baby video this week if I'm home. I'm gonna do my best to film it. I'm gonna do my best to film the last couple, but I really appreciate all the support for letting me just like really enjoy this first one and kind of get my nerves out of the way. It was really helpful for me mental health wise. I'm hoping to get some rest this week. I've got to work. I've got to do some writing. Are you coming, mama? Come on out. I'll go check the babies. I'll go see the babies, okay? You come out here and eat some breakfast. Yes, you come get some grass, okay? It's a good girl. Let's see if she'll go one out. I'm gonna go watch the babies. They're having fun playing. Hopefully we'll get you four birth videos. I feel like that's a good, good number and Baby goes, lots of baby goes. I'm trying to do shorts throughout the week so that you guys are getting to see the babies, even though I'm not necessarily always putting two videos out. Are you guys having fun? Are you having fun? Yeah? We're having fun.